Let's talk about the million dollar market in the Sacramento region. This is Ryan Lundquist with SacramentoAppraisalBlog.com and today I want to drop some stats and then I want to share some visuals and hopefully leave you a little bit more informed about what's going on in the market. Okay, this will be just a few minutes. Let's dive in. So stats in the region. When I say region, I'm referring to Sac, Placer, Yolo, and El Dorado County. First off, 8.5% more sales so far this year. And so sales volume has been up. It's been definitively stronger. 2.5% of sales sold above a million in the region. This is important because I think sometimes when we start talking about lofty prices, the temptation is to think that everything is um, beyond the reach of most of the market. And I'd say that, well, almost 98% of sales are below 1 million. 602 sales so far in 2019. That's really been the strongest figure ever, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, 82 days to sell on average. This is important. Typically, million dollar homes take longer to sell. Okay, sometimes, especially the unique ones, the unicorns, they just need to be on the market for a long time to attract that one unicorn buyer. But here's an interesting stat. 46.5% of homes sold in less than 30 days. And so just because it's above a million doesn't mean that it needs to be on the market for a long time. All right, nearly half of sales sold in less than a month. This is key because a lot of times with million dollar listings, they're overpriced by hundreds of thousands of dollars or sometimes even millions of dollars. And so proper pricing matters even at this price point. A 404 active listings, this sounds like a lot. It sounds sensational. It's really a very normal number of listings, okay? There's always more housing supply at the million dollar price point. It's very normal at this price point to see uh, housing supply be anywhere from you know five to 10 months or so throughout the year, depending on the month, all right? Not normal at the lowest price points. If we had a five month supply below 300,000, the market would be declining, not here. Uh, more sales than ever, not factoring in inflation, I'll share that. So some visuals. Here's million dollar sales in the region since 2011. So 11, 12, 13, 14, and onward. And you can see there's been a clear upward trend. I'd say exponential growth, uh, heavier volume. Here's a different way to look at it. Here are all sales in the region from 2011 through 2019 below $3 million. Now here's what's interesting. You can see where my cursor is at 1.5 million. The bulk of sales lately are really below 1.5 million. Okay, there's some outliers up here at four or five million. They're very rare. But you can see the majority though is below 2 million. There's not that much above uh, this price point. So let's keep that in mind. Here's million dollar sales in the region since 1999. You can see exponential growth uh, as the market was increasing, we simply saw more million dollar sales. And when the market began to tank, we saw less million dollar sales. It's like they disappeared for a little while. And the market has really rebounded over these past eight years, and we've seen um, quite a bit of growth. And we have literally have more million dollar sales than ever um, you know, these past couple years. I would say that, you know, if we factored in inflation here and, you know, the value of the dollar, I mean, you know, maybe be more in 2005, that would be tedious to do, but but technically from a raw data perspective, we do have more million dollar sales. Uh, the last but not least, um, here's the top 10 residential sales in Sacramento County. You can hit pause and, um, you know, look through these. And if you have questions on certain ones, let me know. But it's interesting because you can kind of see these past couple years. Look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six of the past 10, um, six of the top 10 sales sold in the past two years. And so it just shows that we're in a market of outliers, a market where we're starting to see some of the highest prices ever pop up. Now, here's the thing. Don't overprice your property because we're seeing some outliers at the million dollar level. Trust me, I could go through the top 10, you know, residential listings that aren't selling right now because they're trying to price according to these and these aren't the comps. So anyway, I hope that was helpful and informative. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, but otherwise um, comment below. Thanks a lot.